Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, actress and life and career coach for actors. Welcome to another episode of Actor Success Stories. I'm so excited and honored that I have Sharon Lynn here with us today. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. I know you're busy up there in New York. And this is like your first day off. You said like in three weeks. Yeah. She's like, I don't have to get on a train. I don't got to do nothing. So <laughs> today you get to catch up. Um, we did Lion King together, but I feel like we didn't do it at the same time, didn't we? I feel like we just missed each other. We did. Yes. But Lion King is like a huge fraternity all within its, within yeah. its own. So you feel like you know everybody, but... Um, introduce yourself to, so everybody can get to know you, where you're, where you're based and what you do. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Sharon Lynn. I'm based in New York City. And I'm a dancer, an actor, model, yogi, wellness professional. Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations. So I've, you've had a lot of recent campaigns out lately um, that really were really cool because they got to show you like kind of a day in the life as an artist, as a creative in New York City. What were the brands you recently uh, got featured with? Uh, one was a collaboration with Jones New York and Glamour Magazine. And the second one was, um, well, another one was a France-based uh, company called Gimo. Okay. Uh, uh, o Navy meets H and M. Okay. Other is also uh, is based in Israel. It's a yoga brand called Ripple Yoga Wear. Gotcha. I just love I just love that, and we can maybe speak more about that uh, later in this in this session. You know, we started working together. I'm all, what I love about this series because I'm always like, how did we get on each other's radar? Of course, we know each other from through Lion King Friends, but you made a decision in addition to the acting, to the modeling, doing Broadway, because you, you're currently on doing Lion King on Broadway now, right? And, but there was this drive and desire to make that transition also to film and television. So how did we, you and I connect, and what were you, did you feel like you might've been struggling with? Because you were so talented doing all these other things, but I know firsthand that transition can be a little challenging. Speak to that a bit. Um, well, I didn't really like, you, you hear so many things about what you should do and I didn't really know how to make that connection and how to empower myself in making that move and that shifts over. And I think I just started seeing your videos pop up on social. And I'm like, wow, what, what is it that she's doing? And it became consistent. And I resonated with a lot of the things that you were saying about what we attract and mm -hmm. you know how we present ourselves. And it was more than just about the work and booking the jobs, but like I was really attracted to your ideas behind how we show up for ourselves and then how the universe will meet us if we show up for ourselves in a certain way. Yeah. And for my transition, um, I just fell in love with acting when I was, I took a, a, a couple months of a leave from the tour and I came and I studied Meisner mm -hmm. and then I did like some, some commercial work and I did some improv work and I, I just really realized that I have an instrument that's able to do it and I'm sensitive as I don't know what, I'm empathetic, <laughs> I'm like, I'm honest, Me too. Right. <laughs> but I'm like, all of these things work so well for acting and I right. just get lost in the work for hours I'm like I love this I love figuring this out these people these characters and so that's when I decided I wanted to do it didn't it took me a while it's literally just within the past since August that I made the decision that really I my dance agent yeah that I've been like in and out and in and out and dance has been pulling on me and I've been getting I always get work as a dancer right but I'm like I don't I don't want to I don't have the same uh it doesn't excite me anymore gotcha doesn't matter what it is films i just got an email directly from literally a call from telsey about a film and i'm just like i don't really want to do that you know the residuals sound great but yeah like, but like you have been such a resource for this is how you need to empower yourself to show up this is the information you know the training and all the stuff i've been getting along the way yeah but i think i came across your videos because you were in my network because of lying to me. right yeah. right yeah, I, I love that you're talking about what I hear is about creative fulfillment. And it's so easy to always go back to what we know. I call it the dangling carrot. 
And for me, I felt that many times, you know, you have dreams of being on Broadway or being on a huge show. And when you're ready to step out on something new for so, so, so for those of you watching at home, it may not be about a show. It could be about a job that you have that could get you uh, more money, but it's going to take away any possible free time for you to go to an audition. Or if, if you book a job, you can't do it. And I call that the dangling carrot because sometimes we have to make a hard choice and really go to what our heart is calling for and what our next chapter is calling for, not what feels safe and comfortable and guaranteed. Yeah, and so, especially as a dancer, do you feel, and because I'm, I don't know this world personally, do you feel that like you get taken seriously as an actor because you have so many dancing credits? Is that something that ever comes up for you? It does, it does, because it's like, well, this, this, these are all the things that you've done, you know? Um, I still don't have an agent yet, so I'm not going out like crazy yet. I know that's gonna change. And I think I just don't worry about being taken because I take myself seriously. So eventually they're going to have to. Right. Um, you know, because that's just how I'm showing up and I'm serious about it. So I know that that'll change because people treat you how you treat yourself. Yes. But I, but I do, I do find that like, you know, it's, you, this is all you've ever done. But the more you do, like at some point that has to shift. You know? Ab absolutely will shift. Yeah. Yeah. And it, in that I talk a lot, you know, for those of you who are new to me and new to my world, welcome. All my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Listen, yeah. so I always talk about training people how to see you, training casting how to see you, training the industry how to see you next. And it's like, whatever your extra talent is, you know, know that the industry will want you because of, not in spite of. And I believe it's just something extra that's in your arsenal because there will be that super juicy role that requires all this emotion and depth, but she happens to dance. You know, she, I, I read for a pilot earlier, like this, this year that was like, must be able to dance or move well. Like, and it's like, so that, so these special skills come in handy. These musical shows need people who sing and dance. So I do believe everything will meet up how it is. I think the key is you staying clear on what your vision is for your career. And for those of you at home, be clear on what is it you want and make sure you're working in alignment with that. Let's talk a bit about, um, the. I like to talk, I call it the messy middle. So I know we've done some one-on-one -on -one coaching before and you've been, you're in class and you're plus working on your own and working professionally. What's that middle area like, especially since it's new territory, getting used to self-tape? You know, I know I was all about you and your self-tape set up, <laughs> getting those lights and the backdrop. How's that transition been? What's the middle, this middle area like? It's just like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in front of this camera. I don't know where to look. I don't know. You know, like what is what 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 can I have like liberty on? What can I do? What can I do? And like it's scary because I don't want to come off that way. Also, mm -hmm. because I've been so good and so confident in this other thing, right? That same way. But um, it's just allowing myself, knowing that this is temporary, and like even finding a way to enjoy this space because there's gonna come a point where I know exactly what to do. Right. I I look back at this moment and be able to probably help someone else, but look back and be like, at one point you had no idea, you know? Right. And, um, you know, once you learn, you, you already know, and you can only get better from there. Yeah. It's scary because like, you know, the, this, the whole industry is like, so I'm going to go on job interview after job interview. Like, is this really what I'm doing? Is this really what I'm to go play other people? Like, is right. that, <laughs> is, that, is that really what I'm just, but yes, it is. And this That's is what we I'm signed doing. up for. Yeah, and it's fun. And what else? This is like I definitely feel like what else am I gonna do? And I I can always play different roles throughout my life, and I've committed to the journey of it and figuring out what I'll need to do in that in between time. That has helped me a lot too. Yeah. In those periods of time when I'm not working so much, how am I gonna stay empowered? Um, and I also have business goals that, that business is a business that I'm launching myself around wellness and yoga and meditation and all that stuff. So that also gives me the, um, the, I get to make my own decisions Yeah. and not wait on someone else to make decisions for me and things that I want to write and create for myself. 
and um, yeah, so, but it, of course it's, it's very scary to be in that place of not knowing and not understanding. Um, but you just got to do the work. Like the more, the more information you have, the more research you do, I feel like the more grounded I am, the more empowered I am. Right. Like I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm equipped. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm getting into, getting clear about where I stand in all of this. Cause like, there's only one of all of us and that is our, right. our, our power, you know? And Absolutely. Yeah, just making sure I take care of myself. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing because there's going to be the no's. Like we're going to hear nothing and no's and so many times. But like that self-care element, um, knowing that I belong is really like that's that personal work, spiritual work is what makes me feel like, I, okay. It's yeah, okay. it's essential. I was talking to another actor, coach, Dwan Johnson. Shout out to Dwan with Think Bigger Tribe. And we were talking about you can have strategy for days, but if you don't do that inner work, that that tapping into who you are, which also, again, helps you as an actor to tap into emotions and all that, we got to have that, that self-care. So I really love that that's part of your business model, part of your personal beliefs. And I love something that you said that I don't think enough actors say is, I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. I don't know, right? But then what that forces you to do is search for the answer, find someone who has the answer, like, and not just sit in the, I don't know. And so I just won't. Mm. I think that is where you differ from a lot of people. But if you're, when you're, whoever I'm talking to, I think now may be the time to be like, you don't, you realize you don't know what you don't know. Right. I look back at some of like some of my tapes from four, five, six years ago, like, Ooh, that was a hot mess. Like, wow. I'm surprised I booked anything. <laughs> and not even because I'm not a good actor, but just how I was showing up. And I just kept, but I kept searching. And what I love about you, Sharon, is that you were a seeker and a good student of life. What would you say, we're gonna wrap in a second, what would you say to the actress at home who, um, I'm gonna, since, um, since you have a special situation, I'll use your specific situation, who is trying to make the transition. I wanna speak to the, I wanna speak to the Broadway world. I want to speak to the dancers who I talk to a lot of them have higher aspirations, not even high. I don't like to say higher, have different aspirations. who are looking for that new chapter. Maybe they're not feeling like they're being taken seriously. And I feel like maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I should just, you know, just get a job somewhere, try to just go teach because I don't think I can make it. What, what life would you speak into them? I would just say like, we have more than we think. We've done a lot of work already, especially if you've already been dancing, you have discipline, you have work ethic. It takes a certain amount of that to get to the place where you can work to a certain level. All the training, we understand what, that, what it means to put in the work and there's no way around that. Once you've gotten to a certain level in any career, really. Mm -hmm. So like, let's not feel like we don't have anything. We do, we have everything that we need all already inside of us. So we just have to tap into that and not be afraid of what we don't know and understand that you know, be like, fall in love with the process and um, like just keep pushing and stay on the journey. And, you know, we're gonna have these moments of, oh, I booked the show, I have these moments. But there, there's still moments, there's still so much time in between those moments that we still have to enjoy what it is that like, why are we really in this? And I think it's knowing that we have so much already, mm -hmm. um, knowing our why and being like grounded in that why. and um, finding a way to enjoy the process. Something came up for me just as you were talking and thank you for that. And I, I've been loving doing this series showcasing all of you because I get to, each of you have such different paths and journeys. And I know there's people at home who are on a similar journey. And so I'm liking to like, let me ask, go deeper. And what came up for me, and it made me think about when I was on tour and doing The Lion King, I got to meet so many dancers. I mean, I started in dance class. Tap was my first thing I took. I think I might've been five. <laughs> Tap dance, you know? And I know for dancers sometimes, correct me if I'm wrong, there's a lot of pressure on body size, image, maintenance, and because that, will, that, could, that could have a, a, 
a factor in how far you get with the company or the role you book. And I'm wondering all that, and it's not something that's often talked about outside of the community, but how do you think that transfers into uh, an arena like film and TV? Because I believe the beauty of film and television is that there's a need for everybody, every size, every color, every sexual identity don't matter like we are all needed and I almost dare say there's a bit more freedom there do you have any thoughts about that I do for, for me it's been less about body type I think because that wasn't my struggle but watching yourself is huge because you're always in the mirror you're standing at the bar everything's in the mirror uh, yes and it's like either you got it right or you didn't either you nailed the triple turn and you you, you landed it perfectly or you didn't Either you landed the leap, you know, you, it's aesthetically, you can look at it and see that it's close to perfect or not. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's the case with acting. I mean, you know, if you nailed a moment, right? But there's so many different ways that you could do it. But you can't, it's not as easy as just looking, especially yeah. if you're on set or if it's an in-person audition, it has to be an internal feeling and knowing. Yes. So that watching myself thing, Ah, I'm dealing with her. She's <laughs> I'm, her. <laughs> I'm so glad that came up because I didn't even think about it. For, yes, because that is that is how you know. That's that's your tell. That's how you can judge it. So how does it show up for you when you're trying to tape an audition or do some work at home or in a studio? Like, like Say it again. Really, like watching yourself, wondering what you look like, like as if you're on the outside looking in and not just and not just being in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure actors do that as well, but I feel like it could be really bad. I mean, that's always been my, a part of my process. I always wanted to spot right in front of the mirror at the bottom. Because right. <laughs> I need to, you know, you can see everything. But um, yeah, there's, there's that. That's there's so, that's so great. You know, I worked on a show on, it'll be out, it should be out soon on Amazon. Um, I won't say the show yet until I'm able, but the director was amazing and he wasn't from the States. And I remember him telling my scene partner, because it was a really intense scene and, he, and the, you could tell the scene partner was in his head a bit. And he said, I want you to just imagine yourself as a snake. Just feel your way through the scene. Even if you can't see, feel your way through. Because if you're outside of yourself, trying to be in yourself, you are not present. And I believe, in contrast to dancing and the mirror that you have, because I remember that for myself, I think with acting, I think what we're both saying is there has, there's becomes a new level of trust, mm -hmm. internal trust that has to exist. I know I did the work. I created this character. I'm tuned in, tapped in, right? I know who this person is and just then trusting that it's coming across because I'm connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bad for us either yeah that physicality that physical awareness because like i did a reading a stage reading and i played this the mother of a son who had been killed in chicago because of gun violence and i had to go back and forth between before he died after he died and I, she had she was drunk one scene literally with, without leaving the stage mm. you know, but like you know getting into the character physically like i'm like okay how can i use everything that i've learned about my body to like go deeper into this character. And it was very helpful when a friend after class, I mean, after one of the uh, readings, she was like, oh my God, you're so in your body. Like, I need to start going to yoga. Yeah. Like, that ain't yoga, that's like years of dance. Yeah. And I realized that, that that's not a curse, it's a gift. I just have to use it as a gift. You know? I love that. And would you suggest, I think I have my own answer for this because I have, I'm kind of biased, but do you think actors should get into some kind of movement class? even if it's just like a basic beginner, anything, just to tap into themselves? Absolutely, because on the flip side, I see just in my classes the blockages with not knowing the physicality and being unaware. So I'm like, dang, I could just... Yeah, get my hands on you. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already knew that answer because, because I believe my experience with, with dance, with movement has helped. There's a... There's a not to be go totally grown, I'm gonna go grown. It's like people who have had sex before who have not. 
there's a knowing of your body and what you, and something just changes about you and how you move and operate because it's just that. And as you're just tapped into that and you're comfortable in your skin. So yeah, so for those of you at home, my actors out there who've never taken a movement class, this isn't about you, you know, being like Sharon and having your leg up here because she, she will have it, honey. Um, it's about just really just being comfortable with yourself. Yeah, just sitting in your body. When, when you all get the note to be more grounded, that's a lot of times what people are talking about. It's about what's going on here, but it's also about what your body's doing. Some of you, you're carrying stuff here. You're just stiff like robots. That's, that's a good tip for you. Sharon, this has been amazing. I just love this. I think you're really going to open some eyes and get some wheels turning for some, some actors, and especially my dancers out there who are looking to transition and are probably dealing with the same things that you're dealing with. Where can people find you for more? I'll put her links above or below, so don't worry, you can click them. But just for the sake of the audio, where can we find you on social? Uh, I am Sharon Lynn, uh, two R's, two N's. I have a website, SharonLynn.com, but Instagram, I'm very active on there. Yes, yes, and you'll be inspired. You wanna like get your stretch on. It makes I'm like, oh, let me just, oh, I can't reach that position. We just gonna do the modified. <laughs> Modified version. <laughs> Sharon, okay. yes, I want to say just publicly, I'm so proud of you. I've been watching your journey. I see your focus. You are truly inspiring. You remind me of my little cousin too, Brianna. Shout out to Brianna. I tell you that all the time. But just keep shining. It is just so beautiful to see. It is just light on my timeline whenever I scroll by your page. So thank you for letting me be a part of your journey in the tiniest way. And I just know more and more amazing things are headed your way. So thank you. Thank you, Christine, for being such an amazing resource for all of us. Like we need this. Thank you for giving us what you needed when you started. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. All right, everybody. Listen, if you are not subscribed to this channel, do so. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Don't be, look, don't be stingy. Okay. Share us with somebody that you know needs it. Okay. Just like you found it, share the love. We, there's plenty enough to go around, but seriously subscribe, turn on notifications if you're on Facebook so you don't miss uh, any more of my live videos or any more after success stories. Sharon, enjoy your day off, my dear. We will talk soon. And the rest of you, I'll see you next time. Bye.